I'm trying to validate a conversation I had with a cybersecurity guy. He was talking about SCADA systems being hacked and, you know, he ran a report and 75 wellheads were open. And like these, these wellheads could be shut down or potentially controlled by a third party malicious actor. Have you ever heard of something like that? I mean, it's just a really interesting question. And I'll tell you, like, I, I've never really thought about how secure our SCADA systems were. Now, I'm also on the drilling side, so I don't work with the SCADA stuff every day, but I have a feeling that if it happened at a company I worked at, that it would have been big news. So it, it either makes me think one of two things. Either the system is extremely secure or the you know desire to do that, the scope of, of you know hacking into some SCADA systems uh, would be so small that nobody really wants to do it or spend the time to do it. You know, I, I would think if you did, if you... Uh, uh, hacked it to a SCADA system and you, you know, you just open some valves or, or whatever, what you're going to do is you're going to start filling up some tanks. You know, you're probably going to drop wellhead pressure. You're going to get some more water and oil back. Now, if you did this on newly flown wells or big producers, you, maybe you'd overrun a tank. Maybe you'd, you'd cause some pressure increases, but I, I, I don't know if I, if you'd see anything that was just absolutely catastrophic before somebody intervened. Now, I'd also say too, on a lot of these systems, you know, number one, you've got that kind of security from the cyber, uh, you know, side of that. But beyond that too, there's just, you know, everybody I know who's ever run a SCADA system and does this, like, you know, they have alarms set all over the place for tank levels or pressures or, you know, just all these different things that send out alarms. Now, if you're going to get in there and really hack something, I guess you'd have to, you know, somehow not just open the valves, but you'd also have to go in there and like, you know, shut off all the alarms and all these different things. And then on top of that, it, you'd, you'd have to have some kind of a problem happen before the pumper came by the next day and, and realized, hey, the tanks are three quarters full and they're usually nowhere near this. And at yeah. that point, you know, all they do is shut a physical valve and everything's back under control. So I could see, you know, maybe overflowing some tanks or some containment, but I, I, I just don't know that it'd be some, you know, like, hey, now you're in control of a bomb or anything like that. You yeah, know? I, at the end of the day, like the consequences probably aren't as critical as might be portrayed, right? Um, I, anyways, it, it sounds like a, a movie that, uh, you I, know, Nicolas Cage might be in or something. You know, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, and let's, let's, you know, we talked last week about, you know, uh, the oil field and the technology and, and even, you know, a lot of guys from kind of the software side, which you'd consider like the Silicon Valley types or have come over and really transformed the oil field in a lot of ways. And I think that cybersecurity is probably at the fore, uh, you know, uh, or you know, cybersecurity is probably at the forefront of that as well. And so I have a feeling that any system they build is probably extremely secure as well. I guess time will tell as the AI gets crazier and stuff. But yeah, at the end of the day, there's so much mechanical stuff involved that probably yep. enough safety in there. And everything we do is redundant. You know, I mean, uh, it, it really is. You've got multiple valves, you've got multiple systems, you've got multiple alarms, I mean, all these different things uh, to do that. Because, you know, issues happen all the time. Power goes out or lightning strikes or all those different things. And so, um, you know, all of that can lead to issues, but uh, almost every single time there's a redundant system in there to either automatically shut in or to raise an alarm that sends out text messages, phone calls. I mean, all of that stuff happens every single day uh, on US land in regards to well control and, and production flow back and all that.